So the inspiration for an idea like this, uh, I, I'd have to say it, it's the sense that our students can do a lot more than they realize sometimes. Instead of teaching my students, this is what you should do, this is who you should be when you graduate, we are more and more practicing instead of preaching on it. Let's just do it. Let's just be it right now. We want to serve. I mean, we, we, we want to find ways that uh, we can just make society better. But we don't always find ways that use what we have a comparative advantage or expertise at doing. This gave uh, that way to students. And one of the coolest things about it was they came back saying, we could actually help them. We could actually solve a problem. And it was eye-opening to them in ways that classrooms can never be. In the summer of 2013, we started work on a, a few different research projects. One of them uh, we nicknamed the Nonprofit Initiative. We were looking for companies who had grown to the point where they had outgrown really rudimentary systems, but were at the point where they might not be getting a lot of external professional help. So we did some research. We did a couple of pilot uh, programs with some local nonprofits, Kids on the Move, International Language Program. We started talking about putting together a trip for Masters of Accountancy students to join with Masters of Public Administration and MBA students. We wanted to identify a business and help them with the two or three problems or needs that were quote unquote keeping them up at night. Africa Heavy Machinery, we engaged in renting machines, heavy equipment, earth moving equipment to mostly mining companies and um, construction companies. They've got to track and keep track not only of the equipment but the operating hours and bill out on those hours and maintain that equipment. They've got field agents that they only see every once in a while. It's just as spread out and challenging as you can imagine to manage as a business complicated by all of the infrastructure issues there in Ghana. We sent information from Ghana to the students to know what kind of machines, number of machines, what kind of accounts we needed to set up and they do all that foundation work here through Skype and email before they came to Ghana. We definitely had some struggles while we were there. I think um, some of the best advice that I've heard is we're going to try this, we're going to fail, we're going to try again. What's kind of the cost-benefit analysis? One of the main things we dealt with was switching systems. So they had been using a program that wasn't very sophisticated, uh, that wasn't giving them all the reports that they needed. Uh, they were using different spreadsheets for different reports, and it was just taking a lot of time to compile and taking a lot of time uh, to reconcile at the end of each month. After we identified the two or three areas that we really wanted to focus on, then we just locked ourselves in a team study room. We went to work at the whiteboard, drawing out what we could do, how we could help, how can we bring value to this company? What are all the different alternatives to these types of problems? We did not just get off a plane over there and say, here we are, what can we do? Once we arrived in Ghana, it was sort of this breath of fresh air, like finally, wow, we're here, because everything had been a rush up until that point. So we needed to hit the ground running on the project, and we did. If they started at 90 miles an hour, they finished at 190 miles an hour. We are forever grateful to them and to those who sponsored them to come. Um, I want to personally say thank you to uh, whoever contributed to either motivating them or financially helping them. We have so many people to thank that made this all come together. 
PricewaterhouseCoopers provided a wonderful and crucial grant to help get this program off the ground and running. Brigham Young University also provided a mentoring grant to our students as well. To all of the donors, generally, to the School of Accountancy, we would say thank you. And finally, and so crucial to us, was the great partnering of the Masters of Public Administration program and Professor Jeff Thompson. You can serve with your accounting expertise. You can have a larger impact when you do this. I can't think of experiences that are more character building and that really empower us to go forth and serve. That's a perfect theme, uh, go forth uh, for, for this, because there's, there's two ways I think about it. One is go forth with your career. You're going to be able to serve better because of what you did in, in this, in the Ghana trip, in the nonprofit initiative. But there's another element to go forth as well, and that's when you get where you're going. It's one thing to be a professional and be part of a career and be making a difference there and leading, but it's another to say, I have a skill set that I can also give to others. Ghana will be something that will stick with me forever, for the rest of my life. I think occasionally we have these foundational, life-changing experiences that can really define some of our deep motivations for life and the high goals that we set for ourselves. And Ghana will be that for me. My three weeks in Ghana were easily the best three weeks of my education and probably the best three weeks of my life.